How many of you get intimidated by the beautiful pictures of Montessori setups at home that you see on the internet or you see on Instagram? So many parents I know want to start implementing Montessori at home, but they feel so overwhelmed. Now that's what I'm here to do today, to get rid of those fears and help you get started with just one shelf. Remember, Rome was not built in a day, so let's get one shelf going and do it right. First things first, let me tell you the benefits of setting up a Montessori shelf at home. Firstly, this is going to help your child become more independent. They're going to have easy access to everything and that means they're going to be less dependent on you. And who doesn't want that? Secondly, you'll be providing for your child's inner need for order. And thirdly, because of this beautiful orderly setup, you are going to notice a deeper level of concentration and focus from your child. Now, in case you didn't already know this, a Montessori shelf is a low open shelf with the materials laid out so the child can see them. There are no doors that the child needs to open. Everything is at their level. The idea is that we don't want them needing to open a toy box and rummage for things and look for toys. They should be able to see what it is that they have access to. Um, we also, if you have a piece of equipment that has many bits to it, that would be organized in a small basket or a tray. Now that we have an understanding about our shelf, let's get started with these tips. Tip number one, limit your toys. You do not need to bring out every single toy that you have there. Eight to 12 toys are more than enough for your child to be occupied with for about a month. So pick and choose based on your child's interests what you would like to place on the shelf and make sure that it's laid out in a neat and orderly way. Tip number two, place your materials according to the level of difficulty from left to right. Now what I mean by this is that the easiest materials start on the left hand side of the shelf and then as you move towards the right it gets progressively more difficult. Tip number three, make it accessible. Everything that the child needs should be something that they can take by themselves. They should not have the need to come and say to you, Mommy, can you carry this for me? Can you reach for this for me? I can't get to it. Independence is key to Montessori. And so you want children to be able to develop their own independence through your setup at home. Tip number four, make it real. Choose materials and toys made from natural material as much as possible. Try to avoid plastic and toys with lights that make a lot of noise. You will actually notice that your children are more attracted to these toys made from natural materials. Not only that, these natural toys are longer lasting, they provide more sensory experiences and they allow for open-ended play. Tip number five, offer variety. When you're choosing toys for your child, make sure that there are different kinds of toys and equipment in there. We want them to be able to develop varied skills. So, so think of things like puzzles, stacking blocks, household items, some art equipment, Play-Doh, a variety of things that you know will appeal to them in different ways. And tip number six, follow your child. Choose toys and materials that appeal to your child's interests. If you're not sure what that is, observe your child for a few days and take some notes and then modify your shells and see what happens. Make note of the changes. And if still not working, change it again, modify it again. This is what following your child is all about. Observe and modify and cater to their interests. You now know everything that you need to get started with that one Montessori shelf. Now remember, we're taking baby steps here, so be easy on yourself, be patient with your child and with yourself. And the important thing is to take pleasure in this process and that's when you'll see the magic happen. Now if you've enjoyed this video, please do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe because we keep coming back with new videos every week and we don't want you to miss a single one. I'm wishing you luck on your Montessori journey and until we meet again, have a beautiful day.